Hi booktube, I'm here with another video of my No Shame series and this one is going to be about classic literature. Now classics are classics for a reason. They are books that have endured the test of time, that are ingrained in our culture, and as readers I think we should have at least a rudimentary understanding of them, but that doesn't mean we have to like them. Uh, in a video I did a long time ago, um, I listed my top 10 influential books without talking about them. And one of the books I mentioned was Pride and Prejudice. And I included this on my list of influential books, be not for the reason that it was a book that I really liked and I really enjoyed and it was the first classic I ever read. It wasn't. Um, but it was because it was the first classic I read that I did not like. Um, it was it was actually very liberating to discover that I didn't have to feel this pressure to like this classic book that everyone else seems to like. Um, you know, it's it's okay to to be okay with not liking literature, and um, even though these books are lauded and we feel pressure to appreciate appreciate them, it is okay not to like them. We are conditioned, I think, to believe that classics are some kind of cultural high water mark. Um, and we shouldn't feel guilty about having differing opinions on books, even if those books are classics. Um, so why is it okay to dislike classics? I mean, firstly, it shows that you're a critical and thinking reader, um, that you do not feel pressured um, into thinking something is wrong with you because you did not enjoy a book that society seems to say you must enjoy. Um, it's, it's okay to not like classics as it's okay to not like books that are recently published. You know, it shows that you're you're thinking and that you're engaging with the literature. Um, secondly, there are so many books out there that if you don't like one classic, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you do like. Um, I don't think you should write off all classics after only reading a few of them because there's a wide range of genres. There's some classic science fiction, there's classic fantasy, there's classic romance, classic action, you know, all sorts of genres are covered by this classics label. Um, and some are really, really good. Um, lastly, they're just stories. They can be overhyped, they can be well-written or badly written, they can have characters relatable to you or flat characters. They're just like any contemporary book you encounter just written a hundred or more so years ago. Um, I mean, you should definitely not feel guilty about not liking classic novels. So keep on reading whatever you want to read. And let me know what classic novel you dislike in the comments down below.